Let's Go. take a look <laughs> outside this morning. Time now is 841. Temperature is around 72 degrees, and this is our mousetrap cam. Plenty of people hitting the roads, maybe to go see that musical, but it's coming here. Well, we know that First Alert Meteorologist is here with us. Karen Jeremy joins us this morning. Karen, good morning. Good morning, Kennedy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a tough one to say. I mean, it's my era, so that's why I, I love Atlanta's more set, but looks like a great show there. Something fun to check out. Now, what are you doing this weekend? Something fun, hopefully. It is Saturday. Lots of great activities going on across the state. We're starting off sunny, so it's a pretty fine start. If you're getting out early this morning, that's going to be the time to do it. Just like the last several days, though, we have to watch for severe thunderstorms this afternoon. Those are going to fire up with the heat of the day, and some of them could be severe. That's the big thing we're going to watch today. Hail and damaging winds, and then a little cool off for the second half of the weekend. Lots to talk about here. Starting off at 69 degrees at Denver International Airport. Downtown, we're already up into the 70s. You'll notice there's a little haze in the sky today. We actually have air quality issues here along the Front Range and the metro area. Uh, Gunnison County, too. Can't forget about you. You still have some smoke lingering here from the low line fire. So also an air quality alert there. And then right from the Wyoming border straight down the I-25 corridor, front range down to Castle Rock, we have high levels of ozone. So that's why it looks a little bit hazy, not crystal clear out there today. Starting off in the 60s and 70s, right along the front range, 40s and 50s up in the high country. Nice, comfortable start there. This afternoon, we'll pop into the mid 80s, right around 85, the forecast today, with uh, those severe thunderstorms firing up after about two o'clock, I think, for many of us. That's the window of time, I'm gonna call it fair game for storms. Now the risk gets greater the farther south and east you go. Notice we're fine here in the high country, actually. The risk of severe weather, it's not there for the mountains. It's mostly from I-25 and places south and east. In the Denver area, we're at about a two out of five on the scale, so means scattered coverage, certainly not everyone, but it's the same risks. Isolated large hail, maybe up to about Oh, say a ping pong ball size or golf ball size, enough to put a dent in your car. And then wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour with any storms that do fire up. So again, yellow, it's about a two out of five. However, we push south and east, places like La Junta, Lamar, all the way over to the Kansas and Nebraska border, we're, uh, Kansas border rather, we're going to see even more coverage of storms and probably a little bit later here. I'm gonna put that window around three to as much as 10 p.m. tonight. So watch for those storms and have a way to seek shelter, get inside should any pop over you because they could be quite harmful for you. 85 degrees today, that's our forecast, but look what happens tomorrow. These storms are being triggered by a cold front. So we'll drop back a little bit. Exactly as it sounds, cold front. It's cooler air, 77 is our forecast for your Sunday. Once again, we'll have some scattered clouds around and maybe a stray shower lingering in the morning. Uh, I really think the afternoon though, it's gonna be spotty coverage again as we go to 77, a chance for a thunderstorm and then mostly dry through much of the week ahead as temperatures build back up. We're heading back toward the high 80s and near 90 by midweek. All right, Karen, thank you.